All right, guys, welcome back. This is part two of Shadow of Mordor walkthrough. Um, ooh, let's start it off right here. Let's wait. What are you doing, man? Jump. Let's cause the ruckus. Let's see if we can see if we can uh, get him. Destroy this. Dick. Wait, man, where are you going? Why are you running, cuz? Are you scared? Look. Get, get you some. Oh, crap. Run away. <laughs> All right, come on. Bow. <laughs> I don't understand how that was a headshot in the mouth. Oh, crap. All right. Uh, I was not planning on doing this as soon as the game started, but apparently that's what we're doing. Just got to go with the flow. No, no. Run away. I died. Wait, did I die? Oh, yeah, I did die. <laughs> All right, so we were going to continue the story before I got distracted, which happens a lot. Um, so if you remember from the last game, this is your, uh, your little area where you can see all the captains that you have intel on, and then you can hunt them down if you like. So that's what we're going to be doing a lot of. Uh, what is that? Oh, yeah, so we got to go to this guy. So we're going to go ahead and mark that target. Find him and whoop his ass. What's all these towers of silver? They are lights to guide us in the land of shadow, where all other lights may fail. Pale reflections of the light of the two trees, and memories of a lost kingdom. Alright, so if you look down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see that's where your mini-map is. I'm used to looking up in the top left, because that's where Call of Duty has the- Oh, wait, hold up. Getting distracted again, guys. Let's whoop some ass real quick. Hey! Bow! 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 Raid stun him. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. You can rush me if you want. It ain't gonna do you no good. Look at that. So this game, like I said in the last video, it's the combat system is based off of the one that they did for the Batman Arkham games. And it's, uh, it's made by, it's not made by the exact same people, but it's got the same publishers, um, the same, some of the same, um, uh, animators also. But this, it wasn't made by the same studio, I don't think. This is a Karagor that I was talking about. Alright. <laughs> I want to ride them. You can mount them and ride them. All right, so he's gonna get out now and see if I can remember how to do it. I can't, uh, I guess I can't do it yet. Maybe I have to unlock something. Oh my God. <laughs> Tap X to dodge attacks, yep. All right, let's just run away. <laughs> let's just run away. Let's go continue on with the mission. Oh my God, climb, climb. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from me. Oh, run away. Alright, I think I think we've escaped. Alright, cool. I don't know where the thing went, but it's not around us. Ooh. Alright, so we have to sneak oop. What was that? Oh, he's up there. So we have to sneak in here in order to continue on the mission. So since we saw someone right here, let's just go ahead and take him out. All right, where, where, where'd he go? There he is. Where did he go? He's Oh, there he is. Come on, man. Turn around. So the archers in this game are actually quite skilled, and they can see you from a little while away. Why aren't you going... Why aren't you pulling up? Bah! Yeah! Alright. 
collect this shot here. Um, so the guy that we want is... Not there. Shoot hangbait to attract caragors. Alright. So I'm assuming the caragors are going to come here now and attack my enemies. Where is the best place to go? There's like some hanging meat there. Category food. <clears throat> Alright, so let's watch this. Where'd he go? I hear him. Ah, oh, I guess they killed him. Oh no, there he is. Oh shit, there's two of them. So you can kind of use the Caragors to uh, take care of your light work. Oh, he's got a fear of Caragors. So that's part of the intimidation aspect. And that guy is not a captain, but I think he's like with next in line or something like that. Alright, so we're gonna go Mia, right? Mia. Uh, pick it up. Alright, so let's just. Dude, he is dipping. He is gone. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be hurting him much. I'm just wasting them at this point. Alright. Looks like I can't stay up anymore. Jump, dude, what are you doing? Get you some! You ain't calling for reinforcements. I'm not sneaking, I'm right here. Look at that. Finished him off and parried the attack. You ain't ready for it. Oh crap, now they're gonna come. There's about to be a million of them here. It's kind of like the cops in GTA. Once they're alerted that you did something, they are all coming to get you. We got five stars. Jump over. Take him out. Bow! Oh wait, he's still alive. Perry, Perry. Dude, we are whooping ass right now. Oh shit! Alright, there's too many of them. Let's go Super Saiyan. Oh, uh oh. No, no, we're getting out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have no feelings. <laughs> They're hitting their own guy. Oh! Oh no! Alright. So if you remember from the last time, we get our little second chance thingy. Get out of here. It looks like we get some of our health back. Or just enough to be alive, at least. Let's dip! Dip! <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Oh my god! Oh no! Alright, now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're in a groove. Dude, fucking archers, bro. Run. Just run, dude. Don't worry about them. This fucking archer is what's gonna fuck us up. Alright. Uh, wait, so the guy that we need... Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's tied up. Anybody scared of you? Oh, he's not tough. Oh, yeah, he is. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, so we're gonna start this mission, guys. Sauron's Uruks relentlessly abuse lesser orcs in their violent struggles for power. Investigate how the power of the Wraith can exploit these struggles, piercing weak minds to bring down the enemy forces with from within. One orc mind in particular shines as a blazing beacon of weakness. So he is tied up. Poison in your ear. Oh, but you cut these ropes. Right bag will tell you everything. Hmm. Why should I trust you? Now, what would you know that all these other dead orcs didn't? Go ahead, you 
bastard! Do it! I'll die, and you'll know nothing! Maybe I'll grant your request in your miserable life. No, 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 no. I was just a... Look, look, those slaves are no match for the orc army. Their schemes as rotten as barrel fish. Ratman, if we can teach you the ways of the orc, Ratman can make your plan work. All right, so let's. Who do we want to learn something about? Oh wait, I have to choose the one guy. Captains and worms will reveal all intel on a target when interrogated. Press R two to reveal Goroth's strengths and weaknesses. Fear of oh, he's, is he the one that I chased away? His fear of Karagors will terrify him into running <laughs> into a running stumbling coward. If you can expose him to a Karagor, he will lose some of his strengths and become an easier target. Well, I think I messed that up. He is immune to ranged attacks. That's why that wasn't working. So your ranged attacks won't hurt him. He also has a powerful heavy attack and loyal Uruk followers to protect him. Remember, many weaknesses can only be exploited if you gain intel first. Alright, cool. Moving the story along. All right, are you gonna walk the whole time, or like, can you I'll run or something? Stab you in the back. At least an Uruk will stab you in the front. Most likely the throat. We have similar goals, Ranger. See, you want to kill the cat, then somebody's got to take his place. Somebody like Ratbag. So this Goroth is in charge? Of this cat, yeah. But he's no war chief. They answer directly to the Black Hand. I'll show them all when I'm in the Black Hand's inner circle. Becoming a captain is just the first step of Ratbag's plan to become a war chief. Then prepare to step hard on his neck. Oh, shit. Here we go. Just gotta keep him alive. Defenders will block frontal attacks and must be hit from behind. Press X when near an enemy to leap over them. Get the ranger, not me! Get the ranger, not me! Get, get some. They scared. Look, they don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want it. They ain't ready. Bah! Oh, shit. Ooh! Ew. <laughs> I will say that it does get a little repetitive after a while. It's not a real challenge until you start to unlock some stuff. Alright, so his armor is destroyed. Oh, he's done. Get you some! Alright, cool guys. So we did that easily. 
Visualize your goals. Gorov's been out for Ratback for years. Smug piece of dung that he is. We come to blows as far back as Ratback can remember. Still, Ratback never wins. Last time, he kicks Ratback into the Karagor pit. All the others laugh as a Karagor bats Ratback around like a yarn ball. Oh, that Gorov's gonna pay. Smug piece of dung. He'll pay. Gorov keeps Karagors. In pens. The rumor has it he doesn't like to get too close to him. And let me guess, you think I should open those pens? Gorov's always in there. Never leaves, ever. Wonder where he pees. Really? You have to that climb up that? You couldn't just walk around? Keep out of sight. I'll see that your captain gets demoted. Splendid plan. You kill, I wait. That's military genius, that is. Alright guys, so it looks like we have a new target. Oh shit, I should probably hide. Get down. Uh oh, he's gonna see me. He's gonna see me. Alright, so we're good. <laughs> he did not see me. Sweet. Oh shit, he saw me. Alright, so we're gonna sneak around the back way. Oh, here we go. I did not want that to happen, but too late, it happened. Oh, no, no, no. Perry, Perry, block. And they sounded the alarm. Oh, alarm raise. Kill, uh, hit. Kill the enemy running to raise the alarm before he has a chance to fight it. All right, we're going to retry this one, guys. All right, so somebody had to go. Was over here. All right, so we can. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. Because he's gonna come right over on this side. I hope not. Oh no! Oh, dang it! Now oh, we gotta do it again, guys. All right. No, you ain't. You ain't like nothing. Shit, who's trying to light it? Nobody. Nobody. Oh shit. Run away. Get the guy. Get the guy. Get him. Get him. No. Not twice in a row. Hey. Uh, get you some. You ain't lighting shit. Uh. No! Shit, he's gonna light it. He's gonna light it. No, he's not. He ain't lighting shit. Brother. Wagwan. Nobody's lit. Oh, no, I died again. <laughs> shit is harder than I remember. X. And that thing only gets faster and smaller every time you do it. Block that. Get you some, and you too. Take a knee to the face. The shit is way more difficult than I remember. Oh, missed that one. No, he lit it. Dang it. One more time. All right, guys, so I failed twice already. Let's try and sneak around or something. Let's go a different way. Because the guy that I need is in the castle somewhere. He's, like, deep in there, so... Oh, why don't I just use a Karagor? I see the thing on the minimap. All right, so let's, let's go up top so that thing doesn't attack me. We'll 
do that. Oh, it didn't do anything. Use the bees to attack them fools. Or a wasp or whatever they are. <clears throat> Alright, so I see a... Oh, you know what? There's the cage right there. There he is. Did he get out? Oh, no. It's got to be on the other side. But I don't want to get on there. I see... Okay. So we got more. There's one there. Now, where's the guy that I need? Let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Alright, so what's this green thing? Oh, it's just that guy. Yeah, we can take him out real quick. Get you some. Oh, crap. Wait, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I just... Oh, crap. The Karagor. Run away. Run away. Run away. Just run. Just run. Get to the next spot. <laughs> just go. Dip out. Oh, crap. Alright, so now we have to really... Oh, crap. All right, the Karagor is taking care of my light work. Let's just dip, just keep going. We're close. No, which one of this filth is Goroth? All right, let's take this guy out. Real quick and easy like. All right, so I've realized that if we stay up high. Oh crap, he saw me. There's one Karagor out, and on the loose, there's another. Alright. So he's on the run, now we can take him out. Oh, uh, don't. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What? How'd he get down there? Get you some all right I'll get we can't stealth kill him well I mean not necessarily stealth but all right so we're gonna grab him and interrogate him all right let's gain some Intel um so we want to know one of the bigger guys. When this icon appears over Captain, it means that he can be found nearby. Got it. Uh, well, he, we already. I uh, don't really want intel. I mean, I guess we do. Yeah, we're gonna go with that guy. Oh, he killed me in in the first part that we did. Oh, invulnerable to stealth. Invulnerable to ranged attacks. An ambusher, a backlash. Your counters are not effective. Dang. Battle hardened, harder to kill, and may require you to finish him. Inspiring presence. Poison. Oh, he's got a poison weapon. And a sniffer. Can smell out enemies who are hiding nearby. Alright, so stealth is clearly not going to be an option on this one. Neither is our ranged attacks. So we're just going to have to beat him straight up. Let's go ahead and mark him. And he's dead. So now Ratbag is the captain here. I'm gonna 
get me a trophy. <laughs> get lost, scum. We only take orders from Goron. That's the filthy corpse I need you to carry. Now go, go! Say your fish <laughs> for you to carry. Meet me at the crossroads. An old friend there is about to lose his head. <laughs> Alright, so that wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be much harder. Mission complete. We got 700 XP. It sucks they don't do like double XP. That would be pretty cool like Call of Duty. First I'm resurrected by a wraith. Now I am working with an orc. What could possibly be next? We must use the weapons of our enemy against him. The orcs hate each other almost as much as they hate us. We should set up a couple of traps around the perimeter. Alright. Well, let's figure out what to do next. So we're looking at the map. Um... Wait, unlock ability? What did I unlock? Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about these. So last time we did, we did this one. Elven Swiftness, which is pretty cool. Um, Wraith's done, we did that. Detonate, I don't want to do that quite yet. Ride, that's what I really want, ride Karagors. I'm tired of running around everywhere. Alright, so now we have the ability to get on the Karagors. Strike from above, aerial takedowns, R2 plus square on unaware targets become lethal. Uh, impact countered enemies. <laughs> Execution. We'll do. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's do strike from above because you can actually build on that. I think that's all we have. That's all we got. Actually, hold on. Oh, let's get on this Karagor. See if we can. Get on. Get on. How do you? How do you get on? Get you some. Oh wait, no, wrong way. There it is. You leave this Karagor alone. No, dip out. <laughs> Holy crap. He's, he's eating him. All right, now how do I get R1? There we go. All right, so now we can ride the Karagor to get around. Uh, we have to dominate it first. Use left stick to move the cursor into the circle, then press the displayed button to dominate. Alright. So, there we go. Triangle. Alright. And we can still run. Just hold X, hold, and you can run. Press square to attack. Uh, knocks down enemies. Press triangle to bite. Kills, knock down, or unaware enemies, and regains health for your mount. And hold L2 to use range mode. Hold R2 and tap square to strike from above. Dismounts. All right, so let's. Whew. That was cool. All right, so let's get to. Where am I trying to go? Get you some. <laughs> They're all running now. <laughs> you leave those people alone. Alright, where am I trying to go? I hope you guys can hear this music that's playing. It's epic. Alright, uh, we need to figure out... We have to go to this one. Because the other one is locked. So I think we have to... This is the only way we can progress the story at the moment. Attack! Attack! You ain't gonna kill nothing. Get him! Get him! It's like having a Rottweiler. 
Yeah. <laughs> They're all just like done. And you can even attack the enemies while your Karagor is eating dinner, we'll say. This just makes it tremendously easier. It's kind of like in Grand Theft Auto when you get a car and you can just run people over. Is there any more? Alright. So now let's go... Wait, why am I stuck? Let's go. Alright, so we're gonna go right here. Oh, we have to dismount it. Hey, Smeagol. are not quite human, not quite beast. Even more reason to investigate. Let's restore some health here. Alright, so clearly this is where smeagol has been walking. You can even see his feet on the ground. That's pretty cool. Attention to detail. Be wary. This creature leads us to power. Let's save this guy first. We're not going to leave him hanging. We just walk right by. Get you some. Yep. You're not ready. Ah, I hate when you have to do that in the middle of a finisher because it cancels out the finisher. It does weaken the enemy just a little bit, though. All right. Slice him up. Slice and dice. There you go, man. Alright, so how do I get back in my, uh... Oh wait, no, it's this way. How do I get back in my little... Is it... Ah, oh, there we go. L1. Alright, so we're gonna run... How could a rodent possibly know of a rife? It is somehow connected to me. I feel it. <laughs> Walls are no obstacle for it. Stealth kill! Alright. <laughs> Back in the Wraith world. Just had to do that real quick. No, drop. Drop. I don't hear nothing. Your creature's path is fraught with danger. Oh crap. Alright, you know what? We're gonna take them out. It's only five of them. How much damage can they really do? Oh, six. Excuse me. Get it. Seven. The perfect timing. I do like how as the second, it's very responsive, the second you hit triangle, no matter what command he's in the middle of doing, he will stop and he will block or parry the attack that you hit triangle for. It's perfect, because there are other games that don't do that and you die quite often. All right, come on, man. There's only two of you left. You're not going to survive. All right, cool. So let's go back into this Wraith mode. And see where Smeagol's at. See where Gollum's hiding. I don't... That's another thing I don't get. Like, some people call him Smeagol. Some people call him... Call him Gollum. His actual name is Smeagol. 
I don't know where the golem came from. Because it's not in the books. And it's it, there's mention of a mention of the name Gollum like twice in all three of the original movies. Crap, he's trying to like get us off his tracks. What is that? Oh, it's weed. Let's restore some health there. Where are I didn't see where his Oh they just stopped here. Oh, okay. Let's pick that up. Oh shit. This is gonna be fun. Alright, range mode. Shoot him in the mouth. Quick, it is escaping. Alright, where did he go? I need to get some of these. Pick him up. Got him. Pick it up. Oh no. Alright guys, here we go. Hunters should be dealt with quickly. Press X while running to dodge spears. Uh oh. Get you some. Oh shit. Some assholes with their damn spears. Damn it. These guys are a little bit harder. But there's a Karagor around keeping the other guys busy, which is good. So I can just focus on these assholes. Why are you throwing stuff at me, man? I think the game glitched out. He just threw that spear backwards. So if you guys see all the little spiders running around, that's because we are close to Shelob's lair. Yeah, get him. Alright. Now we're gonna steal the Karagor while we can. Oh crap, we have to- Oh crap! What do you want? Get some. Dodge that. Headshot. Headshot. Got him. Whew. The creature lurks around here somewhere. We're close to Shelob's lair.
Mission complete. 600 XP. Eventually, it's going to be turning into 1200 and 1500 XP, and I can't wait for that. <laughs> this is 600 crap is too small. Ugh. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for part two of Shadow of Mordor. If you'd like to see what happens next, where we go with Smeagol, what happens to him, how Shelob is involved with all of this, and what other elven mysteries lie in Mordor, make sure to tune in for part three, which we'll be putting up probably not too long after this one. All right, guys, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Oh, let's get a headshot. Quick headshot in here real quick. That's one. That's uh, two. One in the back. Three headshots, one guy, and he's still alive. Anyway, if you're new, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. Get you some. Come on. Come on. And also, make sure to tap that notifications bell so you get notified every time I upload, which is every single day of the week. Get... Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. I'm going to die. We can't end it without me dying, so let's see. Dude, no, I'm not gonna die. These guys are all going down pretty easily. There's one more. Oh, no, one of the other guys got back up. You're not gonna sweep me. Alright, finish her. Finish him. You get some pretty gnarly finishers, too. Later on in the game, that is. There we go. That's all of them. So, like I was saying... Uh, make sure you check out my walkthrough on Batman the Telltale Series game season one and also make sure you check out the Call of Duty World, World War 2 sorry World War 2 walkthrough which is done and uh, that's about it guys I'll see you in part three